So in this part 2 of our Flix MS version 3, I'm going to show you how to set up this very template in Angular while integrate this admin LTE template into Angular. And that is what we are going to do right now. It's going to be easy and also step by step. The steps are right here. Uh, it says how to integrate admin LTE with Angular. You can find the link in the description of this video below this video right now. If you are joining for the first time, this is the right time to start Fleet MS version 3. This is just part 2, so we are just getting started. In the first part, we set up everything PostgreSQL, Angular, Node.js, and we also connected Node.js to PostgreSQL and be able to connect our city database. So let's go on to part 2. And also, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and activate notification and also leave me a comment to let me know if you benefited from my uh, videos because this kind of uh, motivates me a lot. If you want to support me by buying me a coffee or support me on Patreon or something, well, I appreciate. Step one: say download the uh, download the, the the template from here. If you download it, it's a zip file, and when you download it, it gives you a folder like this, and you simply double click the index.html, index two, or index three, any one you double click, it's gonna open up the in uh, the page like this, as you can see. So we now want to move this file into Angular and then um, we, we continue from there. After now, I'm going to give you an assignment on how to do, uh, what else to do after now. All right, so let's just follow the step by step. So we've created a new Angular application. We've done that. I think we did that in the previous class. Now you can start the application, which we've done. So this is the, uh, the Angular application we've created right here. Uh, now, open the admin LTE folder and copy the this and plugin folders into the Angular Assets folder, okay? So this is the Angular Assets folder, it's empty. So I'm going to now the admin LTE template. I'm going to copy the this, the plugins and the this, these two folders, copy them and put them inside the Assets folder of your Angular application. So I'm going to go to, um, to, I'm going to try to paste from here if it will paste. Now it doesn't paste. So I'm going to actually go to the folder uh, in my file system and then paste it. So I think I can, I can um, say open reveal in finder. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Reveal in finder. And this is it. So I'm going to just open the site and just paste the two items right here. That's the first step. The next step says, Open the index2.html page from the template in VS Code. I mean, so let me just show you what to do. So open the index2, this index2, right click and open it in VS Code. Right? Open it in VS Code and it opens right here in VS Code. Good. Now also open the index.html page in from your Angular application. So index.html page from my Angular application should be um, somewhere, should be this one, okay? Now we have to copy the CSS and JS links across from the index2 to, to the index. So I'm going to the index2 right now, I'm going to copy the links, this CSS links. I'm going to copy it into the head section of the index. My CPU found some time, so I'm going to stop this application from running. Okay, so we continue from where we start. So we've copied the links and the next step says, um, let's see, the CSS links, we have to change the prefix, uh, add the assets prefix to the URL. So that in case of this plugin, I'm going to just say assets, uh, slash uh, because that is now the location of the, uh, the plugins and the and the hist folder that we copied across. So I'm going to paste it right here as well and here as well. So we have to copy the body tag across as well. Uh, so I'm going to go to this place. I'm going to copy the body tag. So where the body tag uh, is going to be. Uh, this one. So I'm going to just copy this body tag across to the body as well. Okay, so this is where we are currently. We also need to copy the JS uh, links as well. So I'm going to scroll down and copy the JS links across. 
So these are the GS links, so I'm going to just copy all of them, starting from here. So I'm copying the JS links across as well. So I'm going to place it right here. And the same thing, I'm going to add the asset prefix. Asset prefix uh, like this. So I'm going to copy across to all of them. Okay, so I've added the asset prefix to the JS. Okay, so we are not done. We now have to create uh, the components that uh, that have to make up this uh, file. So we, the components uh, there are about about five of them. Okay, we are going to open the app component of HTML and delete um, first delete uh, everything except the router slash the router um, router outlet router outlet. So I'm going to open here. I'm going to delete everything from here. So left with the router slash uh, router outlet tag. So if you look at the index 2.html page, you see that there are about five different sections. We have footer, we have a side control, we have the content dropout, we have the main sidebar, and we have the main header. Now we don't count this preloader because uh, it's, it's a completely different uh, thing. Um, it's, it's okay. So we are going to create these five different sections of this application because these sections are, some of them are reusable. For instance, the sidebar will be reusable in other components. So we are not actually copying and pasting. We are going to create separate components representing separate parts of the application. So to create a component, you simply use the command ng generate components. So let me play my console. NGGC. Uh, the first one is main header. Main header. And the second one is main sidebar. And the third one is content dropper. NG generate component is a uh, short is the short form is NGGC. NGGC content wrapper and we have control sidebar and we have the last one is main footer. Okay, so I've created all the components. And the next thing I need to do now, according to the steps, says after you create this component, you need to copy the content of each of these components from the corresponding section of index 2 into each of the components. So first let me save everything. So I'm going to close this. Uh, so we are going to be copying from index 2 into this component because we are not going to just put them in index. We are going to copy it into the corresponding component. So let's start with the main header. So I'm going to copy main header. So I'm going to copy and go to main header. Uh, this is main header and this is it. So I'm going to just replace. Um, yeah, so the second one is, uh, so which one did I copy? I copied the main header. The second one is sidebar. So there's a main sidebar. Uh, that's, that's the main sidebar is this one, so let me just copy it and just replace. And the next one is content wrapper, which is actually this one. So I'm going to copy it, the content, and go to the content wrapper, and I'm going to paste it here. Um, let me save everything. And the next one is our control sidebar. Control sidebar should be this one. So I'm going to copy it from here and paste it in the control sidebar. This is the control sidebar, the HTML. So I'm going to just replace. And the final one, I put my name here when I was testing out something. So the final one is the, uh, the main footer. So I'm going to copy it from here. 
and I also paste it in the main puta section. So I pasted everything, okay? Uh, but now it gives me error. Why is it giving me error? So let me just check. Uh, yeah, so I actually um, will remove this last div, so it will not be malformed. So I'm saving everything. Okay, now we need to um, we need to now add all these components to the app component.html file. Uh, so I'm going to open because we want this uh, all this now to come together in to make up the app component. Like the app component is the main component of the application that actually loads into the uh, index. So let me just show you what, what I'm talking about. So if I open the index, index page, uh, where are you? You see that we have this index page and you have this app root here. So the app component, which is all these things we've been copying, is going to be loaded into this app root here. So I'm going to open the app component, which is this one, okay? So we are going to add all these components to the app component uh, like this. Above, the router slash route uh, the router outlet tag like this. So having added this to the app component, we should be ready. We should be good to go. But if I start this application now, there will be some broken links because remember we the assets folder now contains the images and everything. So there will be images that are not actually well linked. So I'm going to the um, I'm going to the I think I uh, start from the main header, the main header, and if I look for an ing tag, so I'm going to say command f ing. So you can see there is one ing here. So this this slash ing, I'm going to replace it. Um, I'm going to replace with uh, uh, so instead of having this slash ing. I'm going to be having uh, a site slash this slash ing. Uh, yeah, so we simply add the assets prefix to the ing or uh, ing uh, link or ing uh, ing value. So I should just hit replace, right? Replace. I'm going to do the same thing in the main. Um, uh, the content dropper as well. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just replace everything. So in this case, we've actually corrected uh, the ing links. So if you want, I can just check. Uh, so they are correct now. So we are good to go. We've transferred everything. Now I, I know I should be sure that you understand how to migrate uh, all the way from the template to the Angular. Um, application. So let's actually run it to make sure everything works and then we know that we wrapped up with the part two and then we are going to talk about how to plan or design uh, our application, um, the architecture or the structure of our application. So I'm going to use ng-sub, declare my console first, ng-sub, to sub up this application and let's see if it works. If it works, thumbs up to you. If you if you if you have challenges, please also do leave me uh, a comment below. Okay, so I'm going here and I'm going to click on this link, and you can see that it actually worked. So you can see this is now our Angular application. But if you look at this place, we only transfer index two, only one index. So I'd like to give you an assignment, but. I don't want you to mess up this application. So it's better you actually stay with this place. Unless you want to create a new application again, you can play around. But with this tutorial, please uh, don't mess up anything for now. When I come to part three, when we are going to talk about the structure of this application, uh, then we can do it together. Meanwhile, you can check that everything is working, the JavaScript is working, you can now, you have your drop downs here, it's working perfectly well. But other pages have not been important. And also click on this place to make sure that the image is actually there. You can see the user image and it's not actually imported and also the logo. So this is coming from the uh, one import we actually did not do. I think that should be in the in the main header here, which we did not actually 
Uh, so it should be fine. So the main header. Oh, sorry. I think it should be the main sidebar. Yeah, we didn't change that. So let me just show you. So if I come on air. So you see we have a few links that are not right. So I'm going to just replace all and just save everything. And you can see that the logo appears and also the image appears. So I will be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe, like, leave me a comment and also activate the notification if this has been informative for you. I remain Titan the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.